Hey guys, as I was using my iPad Pro all the time, I found out hard reset is the best way to refresh my iPad. It can really help when your iPad is slow, frozen, or experiencing issues. So I think you all can give it a try, especially for those who might be unfamiliar with this term. So today, I will explain the difference between restart, hard reset, and factory reset, and give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do both resets on your iPad Air or iPad Pro. Let's go. Before we continue, here is a thing to know. Unlike normal restart, which turned on and off your iPad, according to Apple, hard reset is the same as force restart, is a way to refresh your system. And if you want to erase all data on your iPad, that's a factory reset. And you can go to part three to learn how to do it. But the hard reset is a must know trick because it will definitely come into handy someday. So here is how to do this. To hard reset an iPad, such as iPad Air and Pro, which does not have a home button, you can quickly press the volume up button and then the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. Let's try. It will take a while and if this is not successful, it's safe to try it again and you can release the side button when you see the logo. Isn't it so simple? This is how I fix the lag and slowness of my iPad. After the hard reset, if your iPad still has some error, you can download Reiboot from the link below and try to fix it with its system repair feature. Just follow the on-screen instruction to repair your iPad will be all right. Then Reiboot will automatically detect your system error to fix it. Part 3 Factory Reset iPad If you want to completely erase your iPad, which is a factory reset iPad, you can just go into the Settings app, tap on General, and then tap Transfer and Reset the iPhone, and choose Erase All Content, and follow the prompt to go through the process will be all right. But after this reset, it's still a great chance that your data not completely clean and can be recovered. If your iPad suddenly can't process the reset, like it's stuck or flashing out of settings, or your iPad stores a wealth of crucial data, including access to credit card accounts and sensitive personal information, and you want to make sure that your iPad is completely clean and can be recovered, you can try to use Reiboot on your PC to do an anti-data recovery process. Part 4. Factory Reset iPad with Reiboot Not only can Reiboot address complex I.O. system issues, its anti-data recovery mode feature can perform deep data erasure on your iPad, as it is different from standard reset, and it can ensure that your personal information is irretrievable to anyone else, safeguarding your privacy. Here is how to do this. First, you need to sign out of your account to avoid the activation lock. Then, connect your iPad to the computer and launch the Tenorshare Rei Boot. Click Trust if prompted. Click on the Anti-Data Recovery Mode. Click on Start Repair. Then download the matching firmware to restore your iPad error free. Then tap Start Repair. After finished, your iPad will reboot automatically and no single byte of data kept. Remember, if your iPad uses a physical SIM card, remove it before handing over the device. OK, you can go for your iPad selling event now. If this helps, like and subscribe to get more iOS tutorials from us. Have a great day and see you next time.